He sleeps a lot of times. I, I have him on footage with me. He If he's comfortable, he sleeps. When I had him in Vegas with me, he sleeps. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. News you can use, man. Let's get to it, man. News you can use, man. Uh, listen, man. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. Boss Talk 101, man, has been around now for a few years. And anytime there's something breaking news pops up, um, I always report on, especially when it's in Texas or if it's in Dallas or if it's in, I try to make sure people know what's going on over here on this side of the world. But thank you guys for watching, man. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, Charleston White. Charleston White is back um, in the limelight. Um, definitely an internet guru. He's, um, as you know, we were one of the first ones to rock with Charleston for us, you know, sharing our platform with him and making it to where you guys would see him um but today i wake up and um when i look at the thing i, I usually talk about the things that are hot topics uh just say no to skull uh i look on there and i see this tape that surfaced which me and skull and a lot of others around in, in areas we knew about this tape uh we just basically i was offered to put it out uh, months ago um actually i was in chicago and i just didn't didn't do it because um just didn't feel that it was something i wanted to push out you know i wanted you guys to get it the way you got it i felt like it would eventually come out and it did and it has surfaced uh the barbershop uh that he you know twisted black came on my show and we talked a little bit about it you know but you know, we knew that this thing was a real thing. Uh, when it first took off, it was, I believe Charleston said that it was a, uh, he had got pistol whipped. You know, he was in the back of an ambulance. I know you guys seen that. Well, the tape has surfaced um, and looked like this guy, Trey, allegedly the one who owns the barbershop, uh, is pretty much chopping and screwing it. Um, I've been where Trey is because I remember when the OGs had, had the confrontation with Charleston in Boss Talk 101 and it ended up being a thing where people was trying to say I set him up, I set Charleston up. But this is the thing. These these are internet uh, things that happen and people are recording and, you know, who set the camera up has become a, I heard Sco Neum and I watched it last night because I'm a big fan of a shout out to Chris Sco Neum and everything that he's doing over there, man. You guys got to go over there and check him out. But it's just crazy, man, that this thing happened. And so I tuned in to Sco, and that's how I, I seen it. I didn't even go looking nowhere else because I knew he, if it was anything out there that was supposed to be shown or something that's being publicly shown, he would be the one to show it. And I, I seen a few key elements in this film, you know. I'm just going to go through it a little bit. As you can see, you see Charleston White. He's, his head is down. He has some dye or something in his head. Um, I think they're trying to get his hair to grow back or something but there's a dye there um and he's trying to figure it out here you know um he's uh like i said he sleeps a lot of times i i have him on footage with me he if he's comfortable he sleeps when i had him in vegas with me he sleeps this is what he does he'll go to sleep and he's comfortable so this barbershop is a barbershop more than likely that he has been going to. He feel like he can, he feel like he's cool there. He brought his wife there. The same thing um, when he was hanging out, coming by my shop, uh, he would bring his wife, his kids and all that. You never see me put video footage out of his wife or his children. And I have all that footage, but I respect people to a point where I don't put their footage out or I don't try to make them look a certain way. I could have done all that. I mean, you know, from the back and forth, he was, I never went back or said anything negative toward him, but I had ample opportunity and I never took that opportunity. Now that all this stuff is coming out, it's, it's like, okay, this is, this is basically who Charleston is. He, he, he had this, um, he, what he had was, you know, he, he basically have this thing where he'll just go to sleep if you feel comfortable. You know, I seen that early on and I mean, but at the end of the day, we're we're looking to push his brand up. My thing was we was going to do the Charleston White show. I wanted to try to get him a show to where he didn't just look rogue out there in his car, going viral, talking and getting banned on YouTube. I wanted to do something to where, like, like how I was stirring something to where he filtered at night. And we talked about this. And this is where we were headed. But things didn't make it that far because I took him to Vegas. I took him to... Um, 
different place, Atlanta. I introduced him to the guys. He's still currently, some of them he still deal with in Atlanta. A lot of these things was done by Boss Talk 101, but at the same time, you know, that was a time period. And you've seen us both flourish and do what we do. So kudos to whoever's been watching the whole thing, man. And I know a lot of you guys are like, why are you talking about Charleston and this? Man, listen, man, we've been, Charleston talks about everybody as well. This is just basically news. I have nothing against Charleston White or his family and definitely got a respect for his children and his wife. Um, I never, you know, talk down or do none of that. That's just not who I am. But when it comes down to this video, it's already public information. It's out on the internet. And you see Charleston heads in a downslope here and he gets hit with a blow while he's sleeping. And like I said, footage, footage show, I got plenty of footage where Charleston sleeps. That's what he does. Um, when he feels comfortable. Um, then, like I said, that day you hear after that, that he gets, you know, uh, he basically, you know, gets taken away in ambulance. But we're going to get to that. But let's go a little bit more into this this footage. And you, I'm not going to play the video. I'm just really showing pictures of kind of what Sko showed last night because I didn't really want to get too far into it. But once Charleston, okay. So here you see, once Charleston's head is tilted down, he's been hit with a couple blows. The second blow missed. But like I said, the first blow connected. The second blow missed. Um, and that's kind of what you're seeing here. He's looking back up disgust. He has this film residue in his hair that dye, trying to dye his hair to keep it from looking like he's going bald and trying to grow his hair back. But he definitely caught off guard here. He wouldn't have wanted you guys to see this, you know, uh, him in this state. Like, that's not what he's doing this for. Somebody, it looks like, had a camera propped up and ready to go as soon as this thing took off. As soon as this thing took off. So it looks like right here, you know, like he, you know, his, his head's at a down tilt. Then he looks back after he's hit the first blow connected. It happened pretty quick. They, I see they slowed the camera down, but bam, you know, the next blow, he kind of missed him. And he was able to look. And, and then they skip a part. And that's the part I want to go to next. They skip a part. And well, no, we're going to stop right there. Well, let's, let's look at this part. Now he got his head covered. He's in a crotching position. Kind of like, kind of the way that Zero was when Trey and him had the issue. Where he's covering up. He want to try to get away from the blows. And this is something you do when you're trying to stay from getting hit. You know, and getting your face hurt. You know, if you've seen the video, when he came back, he said, ain't no, nothing wrong with my face. He even had the Band-Aid on the wrong side. I don't know if he had the Band-Aid on the right side. But, you know, it's just a lot going on here. It's a lot to swallow. You know, um, there's a lot more to this footage. I don't think they gave us everything. But I hate to see Charleston going through this. But this is something that pretty much, you know, like I said, he's willing to die, kill, and go to jail, you know, for what, he, what comes out of his mouth. So... This is what he said on my show. So, I mean, I take him for what it's worth. And, um, man, you know, okay, here we go right here. Now, this is the this is the part, like I said, I had plenty of footage of his wife, and I never would show it because I, just not my cup of tea because she was a very nice woman. She ain't really she ain't really about all that, but she loves Charleston. So she's going to, just like any other woman who's married or with somebody, she's going out for a man and, and same way, you know, I'm pretty sure mine will go out for me. But at the end of the day, he's standing behind her with a mop. I don't know what, I guess she jumped in front. She's willing to go the extra mile for him. And he's kind of ducked off by the kitchen so he can kind of get away if he have to fly it up out of there. But, yeah, he's she's holding her hand up. And that's the woman that, I, that's his wife. That's the one. And, and like I said, until she came out of public, I'd seen her before, but... This here is kind of different where she's trying to defend uh, Charleston. And I'm, like I said, I don't watch him primarily, but shout out to Crisco for getting this footage out. Um, she's standing and, and she's, and you can go watch the full video on Crisco's show, but she's, it's a lot of, in her eyes, you can see the that this here is something that's really giving you know, her a challenging moment. And he's also being challenged at this moment. And, he says, man, he said, go call the, call the police, you know, and then uh, old boy cries out, I don't care about the police, you know, I bond out, you know, and this is the stuff that's happening right here. And then you look at uh, his wife, she, some people say she cried out to say cheese. I don't know. I, don't, I, I didn't, couldn't hear that part, but I believe Skolnim says she might have 
cried out for say cheese or you know but my thing is i'm just kind of looking at it she i think she was he was saying go to the car and get my pistol or whatever or, or no i don't think he said go to the car he wanted his pistol but i'm just hearing all this on this man is it, is how far will one go for views man like you got to realize he got a family he got kids man it's a lot look like you know i I don't know. He probably need to move from in that community because evidently they're not, um, they're not protecting him. The police just took him to jail. They're not respecting him like they were before or like he felt they was. And and I just, you know, cause I hate to see him going through what he's going through. But at the end of the day, man, you know, he he said he's willing to die, kill, and go to jail for what he believes in. And like I said, I just never, you know, I, I don't, you never can tell on this internet what's real and what's fake. But I can definitely tell you this here seems real. Seems like it's an active event. It may be what transferred into the assault, uh, the assault with a deadly weapon. I don't see where the animal cruelty comes in here again. He has a couple of things going on with the stuff that happened in Crockett. So he's definitely giving it all he has, you know. But it is, his, his wife, to, to her defense, man, she, like I said, she's got herself in a situation. And, uh, as, and as a protector, I guess he's standing behind her to, I guess, guard himself. She's trying to stop them from fighting as a woman. I don't think she could stop them men from fighting if they was trying to get to Charleston. And I hate this because this here is a bad situation for any woman to be put in. You know, if she got, you know, at this point, you know, you know, you just hate to see this happen like this, uh, man. But, you know, like I said, this is what, this is what, this is what happens, man, when you get on this internet and, all this, you got a lot of people that's following, you know, it's just a bad situation, man. The guy with the braids is Trey, and Trey uh, is the owner of the barbershop, from what I can tell on this video. And Trey is trying to figure out, you know, he was shaking his hand. It looks like when he got ready to shake his hand, uh, the, the, when, it looked like when he got ready to shake his hand, it, he, he kind of, it, it went straight through his hand into Charleston's face. And it's crazy, but that's kind of what was going on here. It looks like he didn't know nothing about it. I don't think he knew much about it. I think he was just pretty much greeting the guy. Somebody there may have knew something about it, but it wasn't. I don't think it was Trey, but uh, as a business owner, you know, you want to try to clean, clean the, sc the scope. And again, again, Trey, like I said, looks like he's, you know, basically trying to shake this guy's hand. When he gets ready to shake his hand, his hand's knocked away. Um, he hits Charleston face. He hit him with a two-piece. But the second one, it, gra it grazed him. The first one, it caught a, a pretty good connect, but it, it wasn't a knockout shot. But it definitely was a shot that, that that woke him up. It woke Charleston right up. He was in a pure sleep. And uh, he does that when he's comfortable, as you've seen on the videos. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, man, I hate to see these, these guys doing this as brothers, man, to be honest with you. Guys, when you think about what this internet does and how people, you know, challenge themselves to be relevant on here, it's just a, if you set it up wrong, the energy you bring to you will be the wrong energy, man. A lot of people, a lot of kids, a lot of people watch Charleston, man, I get it, y'all. But is it worth it to go through all this to, you know, uh, get people to recognize you and whatever talent you might have? I'm just saying, I, it's weird for me. And uh, I'm just saying, guys, man, whatever you can do, man, to try to figure out, uh, you know, how to find your lane in this. Try to make it in a way to where you don't have to be putting your family and everybody in these situations because I don't think it's worth it, man. Um, guys, I had to bring you this segment because, like I said, Charleston, uh, one of the guys that was on the show early on, and just like anybody else that, you know, was on the show, I always try to bring forth the relevancy of what's going on with them and whatever they're doing. Shout out to Crisco again for that video footage, for that footage that I, I got off his page. I want to show uh, some, yeah, dedicated uh, shout out, respect to him, man, because he's one of the boss talk uh, uh, guests as well. Um, thank you guys, man, for uh, watching Boss Talk 101. Guys, make sure you become members and join our membership program. And also make sure you uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you guys uh, rock out with Boss Talk 101, man, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this Charleston White thing. Because I think it's ridiculous. It's going crazy. It's going too far. Um, it has gone too far from jail to this. And now, you know, the tape surfaces. Guys, let me know what you think, man. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, been another great segment, man. News you can use. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, reason you see me.